Creative TV, Netflix Canada, which is better. I'll be diving into that today. Here are the topics I'll be covering. Let's dive in. Obviously, there are a lot of similarities between Creative TV and Netflix Canada. They're both streaming services that provide movie and TV content for a reasonable monthly price. The big difference being that Creative TV is a Canadian owned company and it's only run and operated in Canada, whereas Netflix Canada is a subsidiary of Netflix, which is an international company. And where that comes into lies is with original content and just content programming in general. Um, so now I'm just going to dive into some of the advantages of Creative TV has over Netflix Canada. So the biggest advantage Crave TV has over Netflix Canada is the fact that it has live TV channels and the ability to watch live episodes and new weekly episodes every week due to Crave being owned by Bell and Bell Media having a bunch of owning a bunch of Canadian television companies. They have these deals already in place. So a lot of the shows that we would normally see on things like CTV end up being on Crave TV as well. Another big advantage of Crave TV over Netflix Canada is that it has add-ons. You're able to add on HBO and Stars for now uh, onto your subscription and get that extra content. That some people see as a slight disadvantage for Crave that you have to pay extra for extra content, but it is a premium service HBO and Stars at least. So that content isn't available usually on Netflix anyway. So uh, to me, I think that kind of balances out and it's still an advantage for Creative TV, the ability to be the only place you can watch live HBO shows as they're released week to week and the only place in Canada you can watch it online. So I think that's a big advantage for Crave TV. The big advantages for Netflix over Crave TV is that they have more content, they've been around longer, they have better originals, they have more international content, and they have more variety in their content. And specifically, they have more movies in their library versus Crave TV, which has a lot of, is mainly TV shows because of those, again, those connections between Bell Media and the TV channels they own. That being said, there's a couple other advantages Netflix does have over Crave TV as well. It also has 4K streaming capabilities, which Crave TV has been saying they're going to have, but haven't had for a couple of years, still haven't implemented yet. And Netflix Canada also has more pricing tiers so that you're able to match the price that you kind of fits your budget a little bit more accurately. Whereas Crave only, I think, has one or two pricing tiers and that's about it. Uh, but that's also why they have the add-ons of adding HBO and Stars on top of it. So which would I recommend to you? That depends on what type of content you want. I think if you're trying to look for a replacement for cable, I would suggest Crave TV because it is pretty much like having cable, like having a DVR in a sense with cable that you get all the new episodes or most of the new episodes of the new shows that are on the Bell owned TV channels. So you get those tweak tweak. If you're just looking for a cheap uh, streaming service that just provides you as much of a variety of content as you like, specifically more variety in movies, then I would suggest Netflix Canada, which would I pick if I had to choose one over the other that I've been racking my brain over for like a week. I, if I had to like really come down to it, I would probably pick Netflix just because it has more shows that I tend to revisit. It has more things that I tend to revisit. Again, a more variety of things that I tend to like, and they tend to have more new original content that is very much geared towards my <laughs> demographic of geeky people, um, particularly with their newer comic book things like Umbrella Academy and stuff like that. So I would probably, if I had to choose between one or the other, I would probably pick Netflix myself, just because like I said, those the bigger variety in content and it's been around longer. I got screwed over with the last Canadian streaming service from a big telecom. So that was Show Me from Rogers. That lasted a year and a half. So I have a little more faith. I do. I don't think Crave TV is going to be shutting down anytime soon, obviously, but I do have a little more faith that Netflix will be sticking around probably longer in the future or will definitely be able to keep up that same pace that they have already. Even though I still enjoy Crave TV and I subscribe to both services right now and I don't foresee a future where I unsubscribe to either of them. But if I had to pick just one for the sake of this video, I'd pick a Netflix Canada. But if you're curious about more of my thoughts on different streaming services, be sure to check out the next video here. Thanks again for joining me today. Trip subscribe channel if you haven't already and have a good one.